primary item on our to-do list during our trip to Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore was to take the boat tour along this beautiful coastline of Lake Superior. On the day we chose to go on the tour, the weather conditions were less than ideal. There had been a major storm out on Superior during the night. However, we were able to board the boat and left the Musing Pier on time. The waters in the harbor were a little choppy, but nothing too bad. We didn't even get to leave the harbor, however, before the captain announced that we were turning around. He had gotten word that waves out on the lake were in the 8 to 10 feet plus range, and he didn't want to endanger or seasicken any passengers. The only landmark we did get to see was the old lighthouse on the shore of Grand Island, which was still in the confines of the harbor. Fortunately, they gave us a refund, and since we were at the beginning of our week-long stay, we were able to schedule another trip a couple days later. Maintenance has been done on it in the past century. That's up until about 15 years ago, the committee was formed to help preserve the lighthouse. Built a break wall around it, protect it from erosion. By far, the uh, cleanest of the building. This is the point where we turn back to Munising. And off to the uh, right is the uh, channel lighthouse again. Thank you. 
line as you head over. Good morning, taking two puffs. This one. The second trip was successful and we were able to enjoy the beauty of the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. Thanks for coming along with us and we hope you enjoy the sights too.
Okay, we cave's only going about two, 20 to, or 15 to 20 feet. One cave though that goes all the way through Miner's Castle comes out the backside, just around the point that the cave's about 45 feet long. The road that goes to the castle also comes down to a parking lot just behind this beach called Miner's Beach. Great place to explore, you have Miner's River on this end. Large coves are called the Meatip Coves. The sandstone has very little color. It's a pale tan. Other colors we're starting to see are caused by minerals embedded in the sandstone. From the brown thread north of the purples, we see in this first cove are purple layer. White is calcium. Black is manganese. And later on, we'll see blue.
like wet. colors created by the waves coming in carving out the soft thin layer of rocks and see the center of those caves. Gives the waves a foothold on the bottom of the harder layers of rocks. Hey, if you look up on top of the cliff you can see what look to be little bushes or actually old stunted trees. It's early in the winter time the waves will crash up against the cliff go up over the top. Water will freeze on those trees in my winter time two or three feet of ice away coming in from the top of the rock. Waves are crumpled up off the harbor layers. Hey, if you look up on top of the cliff, you can see what looks to be little bushes. They're actually old, stunted trees. Truly in the wintertime, the waves will crash up against the cliff go up over the top. Water will freeze on those trees in my wintertime. Leave two or three feet of ice up there. If you look down the shoreline, you'll see a formation with an archway. That is called Lover's Leap. I wouldn't recommend to jump onto that though. No matter how much you want. Jump an inch only.
Panther's large rock out front. Yeah. And Bill goes up and arches the back along with his forehead. Dimensional to me, you see a jawline within the ear and the hair feathers streaming out the back. Yep. Looks a bit like the Chicago Black Ox logo. Mm -hmm. Old man speaks.
Another profile of a thing. Closest to the three little points here just before the beach. Closest point has a rock out probably just above the water. Left side of the nose. Above that to the right of the round cave. That's an eye big bomb left. And mustache is soaking in the water. Call him a pirate. He's more in a pirate's hat. I just imagine a wave as big as this boat going into the last large coat called Chapel Coat. Got a nice day like today, we'll bring in close to Chapel Coat. Okay, so Thank <laughs> you. 
favorite overnight camping spot to buy time. He can drive uh, within three miles of the beach, I do like it. A waterfall at the end of Chapel Beach is called the Lower Chapel Falls. The footbridge going over it, and that's part of the lake shore here. This is a uh, Chapel Rock. That's a those roots, but that came in over 60 years ago. That tree lives on. It's called 12 Mile Beach. <laughs> Ends up at a point uh, beyond the horizon. extend for another few miles turn into a sand beach called 12 mile beach ends up at a point uh, beyond the horizon while you're doing the park we're going to mention the hiking and camping which is driving campgrounds park south point has a lighthouse park services so that's a guided tour to the summertime and beyond that the bronze sable dunes Sand dunes are 300 feet high. Go down the face of it at a place called the Fallen Swan.
operates as a directional light now. The uh, bright red light in town. Yeah, big black mouth. Our final oh, that's right in by the big ships. Now, a few moments we'll be docking, so everybody please take their seats. Every once in a while, bump into the dock, and why might have fallen hurt themselves. So be careful when you're stepping off the boat. Uh, the ramp, so we have an angle, and then you will step down once you get to the clear level. Now, on behalf of uh, Pat, Lynn, the rest of Picture Rocks, Bruce's and myself, Dave, uh, we hope you enjoyed your ride out to the Picture Rocks today and have a safe and enjoyable vacation. What a great group of people. Thank you very much.